Hey guys, George here. My buddy George, master uh, tuner and mechanic. Uh, we just finished t tuning a chip for this car. So, George, you gonna run us by what you just did? All right, so basically we were driving around doing emulation. What that means is we basically change parameters on the actual ECU through, uh, through flashing it while the car is actually being in use as opposed to having a chip and burning it, removing it, burning it, removing it, changing things. So now that we've finalized what we wanted to do as far as change wise, we're going to burn his uh, edge chip so that way it's permanently burned onto his chip because he doesn't have an emulator that's plugged directly into the ECU. You could get one of those and tune all the time with it. Works just as good, but we have a chip for his car. So this is your basically your uh, Craig Motes AU. Uh, this is the, the chip burner. It's a AUP1 chip burner. So basically what you want to do is um, take your chip and you load it into the chip holder at the bottom end. You So you line up the chip all the way to the bottom. Drop your chip in. The notch of the chip has to face the top of the flip switch handle that locks it in place. When you lock it in, your chip is now locked in. It should be all the way to the bottom. And what you want to do is make sure you have... No, sorry, quick question. Yes. That chip, you bought it separately then, or does it come with chips when you buy the setup? No, the factory uh, tune port cars uh, or any GM older OBD1 car have uh -huh. the chip actually soldered onto the MCAL, which is a non flashable chip. It's non it's non flashable. Right. These are uh, EE proms. And again, it's OBD1. Oh, so, what we do is we buy an adapter that lets you plug it into the chip, you know, plug a, a flashable chip onto, the, onto your ECU. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn edge chip now. Pretty simple. Um, and using Tuner Pro. We use Tuner Pro as our editor program. Right. Um, it's basically all the parameters have already been changed. Now to burn the chip is pretty simple through Tuner Pro. This is Tuner Pro version 5. What you do is first you got to make sure that you have your bin files loaded in. But once you're in here and everything's already pro tuned already and uploaded into the bin file, what you do is you go into, you click on tools and you go down to Motes Prom. So there's a little utility to burn the chips from. And the chip we're using is a 512 chip, so you have to make sure you click on the correct chip. And you have to make sure that the addresses that you're gonna burn the onto the onto the chip are in the correct spot. Starting and ending address on the chip. So with a 512 chip, the end the starting address is uh, I'm not I'm not a big hex guy, but it's 008000 and the end address is 00FFF. Okay, and the buffer address is zeros all the way across, and then the ending address is 007FFF. And what you want to do is make sure you erase the chip first, make sure there's nothing on it. So you erase the chip, you hit blank check after you've done erasing the chip. It'll say erase success, successful underneath. All right, it checks now that the chip is blank checked. Perfect. What we're gonna do is gonna load the file to the buffer. Basically, this just takes your the file that you're lo looking for, and you get this is the one you want to load into your chip. So let's do that. Let's find our bin file, which is today's date. You hit open, and now it's loaded into the into the utility to burn it onto the chip. So what you want to do is now that it's loaded in and it says under here it gives you the uh, the byte the, the byte size to let you know how much is in there and basically you're gonna click on program chip. It's now beginning to program the chip. That's the actual burning process. That's the burning process. <clears throat> and now what you want to do is also verify the chip. Make sure that it did complete. It says successful. We're done. You can close this utility. Pull the chip out. And pop it into the ECU. Start the car. Let's do that. And the bitch is ready to run? I'm ready to run. Let's start her up. Make start sure up. She's good. See how it sounds.
and uh, George, uh, again, how do they reach you if they want to reach you? For a chip or a tune? Best way, just give me an email. Say uh, mail again? Yeah, email is George D. George dot D dot Plevritis, that's P L E V R I T I S, mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Cool. Send me an email, I'll see if I can help you out. Cool. Thanks, George, for letting us know how everything works here. Anytime. Take care, guys, and please subscribe underneath. It's free to subscribe. Also, like me. It's plain as clown to go around. <laughs> Ta ta!